Hey guys, Laura Whitmore here, owner of Strategic Test Prep, and I am so excited to show you the ultimate math hack in this video today. This problem that you guys are dealing with on the digital SAT is bananas. It's like so complicated to do algebraically. So I've had many students that I'm working with right now one-on-one -on -one complain to me that they're just, they're getting this wrong and it's taking them too much time. The problem that I am talking about is this. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. So we're gonna take this and instead of solving it algebraically today, we're gonna use the Desmos graphing calculator to do it for us. Okay, now the first tip that I would say is you guys wanna make sure you pick a number to put in for C. Because when you go to type in the equation into Desmos, it'll give you a slider if you don't specifically choose a number for C or for whatever the constant is. I would recommend using two. Two is a really nice, easy number to work with. Zero and one can get a little wonky. So I'm gonna use two in this example for C. So you'll notice that I'm replacing all of the C squareds with fours. The other thing we have to make sure to do is when we type it into Desmos, we want to set equal to Y. So I'm going to move the one term over to the other side. I'm going to subtract it to the other side so that all of my terms are on one side together and I'm going to set it equal to Y. All right, guys, so I'm in Desmos and I'm going to set it equal to Y and I'm moving that other term to the other side like I had mentioned already. Okay, so as you can see, I have it entered. Now I'm gonna to have to zoom out. Now this is what my function looks like. So I wanna know where the solutions are at. The solutions are where it crosses the x-axis, much like a quadratic, the solutions are where it crosses the x-axis. So when I hover my mouse over this, I see there's a solution at negative 39.051, and there's also a solution at 39.051. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the same number that I used for C, which was two, and I'm gonna put it into all the answer choices until I get a negative 39.051 or a positive 39.051. All right, so I'm gonna skip A because A would just be a negative two and we're looking for a 39.051. So the next one, B, also wouldn't make sense because we would have a really big negative number. Um, so let's go to C and we'll see what that is. So I'm going to do 39 squared. Okay. And then I'm going to actually subtract four because we're subtracting C squared. Then I'm going to square root that. And then I'm going to make it negative. So that is close. It's a 38.95 essentially, but we need a 39.051. So I'm going to try D. Okay, so with D, I'm taking a 39 squared plus 4 plus the C squared. And then I'm square rooting that. And then I'm going to make it negative. And there we go. That's what we needed, a 39.051. So that's a direct match. We know the answer is D and we are good to go. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching today. I hope that video helped you be able to tackle one of the most difficult digital SAT problems out there. Don't forget about your Desmos graphing calculator because it's a really awesome tool and it's proving very useful on the new iteration of this SAT. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Happy prepping.